Hi, I'm Bob Hoganson with Martin County Television. Welcome to our latest segment of Martin Works, our new series where we take you behind the scenes and introduce you to some of the people and programs that make Martin County such a great place to visit and live. Martin County's Public Works Department, formerly called the Engineering Department, has a wide array of divisions that help maintain everything from roads and drainage to transit services and mosquito control. The department also manages Martin County's valuable environmental resources like conservation lands and beaches. As a top destination for outdoor recreation and pristine beaches, Martin County is innovative and progressive in managing these precious resources. And leading the way is our Coastal Engineering Division and our Coastal Engineer, Kathy Fitzpatrick. We do everything from monitoring the environment and restoring the environment to building big construction projects on the beach and dredging inlets. Most days you can find Coastal Engineer Kathy Fitzpatrick at one of Martin County's 14 beaches. She heads the Coastal Engineering Division. You know, we're working in a natural environment that we have tried to um, manipulate for humans to use. And so you can't really fight against Mother Nature, but you have to try to find ways to work with Mother Nature. Here at Bathtub Beach, a major nourishment project is underway. Recent storms have swept much of the beach out to sea, closing it for months. But Kathy says that in itself is not that unusual. We've gone back and looked at historical aerials and historical surveys to see what um, a, an average healthy beach at Bathtub Beach looks like. And one thing we found when we did that is that this beach has always varied widely. This time-lapse video of aerial photos going back to the 1940s shows that naturally the beach widens and thins out over time. But a thin beach is not ideal for recreation or safety. We have Bathtub Beach that is uh, viewed as a recreational amenity. It's also viewed as the last line of defense to keep a very important evacuation route open, which is MacArthur Boulevard. So the county is moving 150,000 cubic yards of sand from the inlet to replenish the lost sand on the beach. Storms have also battered a four-mile stretch of beach between Jensen Beach and Stewart Beach. Kathy has overseen the project that will move about 400,000 cubic yards of sand from shoals offshore by dredge. The project is scheduled to be done at the end of the spring in 2018. Any place where we're actively pumping the sand out onto the beach will be closed to the public. And we have a, a daily update on our website to show which beach accesses are open and which ones are closed. Another ongoing management project is the dredging of the St. Lucie Inlet. A natural component of inlets is that they fill with sand, which can be dangerous for navigation. Interestingly, due to ocean currents, the north side of the inlet gains sand and grows, but beaches south of the inlet shrink. An inlet dredging project is set to begin soon to move sand to an offshore shoal to be used on southern beaches at a later time. About half a million cubic yards of sand will be removed from the inlet. But beyond the beaches and inlet, one important resource managed by coastal engineers is not so visible, unless you have a mask and fins. Coral reefs have, have lots of functions or benefits. Reefs hold and sustain life, provide commercial and recreational fishing opportunities, and are popular recreationally for divers. They also provide a natural wave break to protect our shorelines. But the Florida Reef Track that begins south of the Keys and ends in Martin County is in trouble. Kathy says that a disease on the reef that started in the Miami area has spread north to Martin County. It has moved faster, it has had a higher mortality rate, and it has been more pervasive than any disease outbreak that we've ever seen on a coral reef. Now scientists are working feverishly to reverse the damage done. The issue is so important now, Governor Rick Scott recently signed House Bill 53, creating a designation for the reef. Now that we have a legal designation and a higher visibility for the reef track that we can move into some uh, management options that will take some of the stresses off the corals. Yeah. While the living reefs are so important, artificial ones can be just as beneficial. Martin County has a very active artificial reef program that has created over 100 reefs. If you want more information about Martin County beaches, you can go to our website at martin.fl.us and type beaches into the search bar. 
Also, you can follow us on Facebook to stay connected with county happenings. We'll be featuring more Martin County departments very soon, showing you how Martin works. For Martin County Television, I'm Bob Hoganson. Thank you.